is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living, and in this video we're going to be going through the removal of the um, RV uh, Dometic, or I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce this uh, brand, but uh, the Dometic refrigerator, this is the RM2604, and it's old, and it was leaking ammonia pretty bad. Um, I tried to, we just bought the trailer and I tried to fire it up on electric and we opened the refrigerator door the next day and we all had to run out of the place because it was just burn your eyes and your nose and everything else so so i don't trust it in here i don't want to just replace the cooling unit in it because it's like five or six hundred dollars and i gotta take the whole thing out anyway so what we're going to do is replace it with a uh, an off-the-shelf residential model um small 10 cubic foot if i can fit it in here otherwise we're just going to use a smaller one to save us some money so uh, this video will go through the removal of this refrigerator, and in another video I will go through the installation of the residential refrigerator, whichever one we decide to go with here. So I'll take you around the back and show you where we start disconnecting things. All right, so this is through the outside access door, and basically there's three things that are uh, connected here that uh, that connect the refrigerator to the actual trailer itself. Um, you got your DC uh, lines coming in here. And so those wires need to be disconnected um, either at the wire nut or right off of the um, right off of the refrigerator here. Got a propane line that needs to be disconnected here, and that'll need to be capped off because I don't think I'm going to end up getting a an RV model that'll run on propane, which I don't really care that much about. And then I also disconnected. There's a uh, let's see if I can get you in here. There's a plug over here on the side, which is in the dark and you probably can't see. But there's just a, an AC plug there that we unplugged the uh, AC cord from. And that's where I'm hoping to plug in the uh, residential model once we get that uh, in here. So, so I'll go ahead and get all this disconnected and then we'll go Once you get all stuff. that wiring disconnected, there's also a screw that goes through the metal framing here into the wood. And I've already moved it forward here a little bit, but the, you got to take this screw out on this side and then there's also a screw it's kind of dark on that I apologize but there's another screw on this side so those those two screws are the only other screws in the back here that need to come out before you can slide it out all right so first step inside here is you get the doors taken off and we've got the door already taken off and basically since I'm throwing this in the trash I just kind of lift it up and ripped them off but uh, if you want to take them off nicely if you're gonna reuse the refrigerator or just replace the cooling coil you just take a, a loosen the, the nut on the bottom here first and that piece will come off and you can take the uh, bottom section of the door off and then once the bottom section of the door is off you can uh, loosen that nut right there and then the top section of the freezer will come off so um, the next step here is going to be just to take all the moldings off which there's a couple screws here uh, one there and a couple down at the bottom so we're going to undo all those screws and we'll be able to take all the molding off around the top here all right, so after the the screws were taken out of all the molding here on the side, there's a couple screws at the top. This piece right here uh, came off. It was just two screws holding that in. That piece comes off, just the molding. And then there's two screws that mount the uh, refrigerator to the actual framing here. And those two need to come out. And then same thing at the bottom here. There's another um, bit of... The uh, door hinge here, again two screws, this comes off, and then this had a screw right in here, and then one over here, this comes off, there's some wires in here, it's just for like a little light that tells you when the uh, propane burner's on, and then the other door uh, jam or support here comes off, these were cocked in so I had to unscrew these and pull them off a little bit, there's some uh, silica or some type of caulking in there, and then after that molding's off there's just one screw right here and one screw right here that uh, screws that right down into the frame and we can disconnect these wires we're not going to use those anymore and uh, at that point the refrigerator is all free and uh, we'll go ahead and support uh, the underneath of it here so it doesn't drop onto the floor and damage anything I'll get some uh, piece of wood or something in here and then I'll show you how we pull it right out it should slide right out here So here's the, the little fridge pulled out here. 
Um, not sure how many cubic feet it is. It looks like it's less than 10, so I'd have to look up the information on it, but probably an 8, something like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it came out pretty easily, and uh, I think if you just got bought, went and bought a new replacement for it, or ordered one, they'll ship it right to you, and you can pop it right back in. This is really an easy project um, to replace one of these. You know, the only disadvantage of getting a, a new RV model is the, the price of them. Now, you can also, and I may consider this, but uh, you can also get a whole new cooling unit. And that's um, the freezer unit up here, the refrigerator unit, and all of the compressor and everything. It comes, all this equipment on the back comes off, basically, of the refrigerator cabinet and freezer cabinet. And you can put a whole new unit on. Now, like I said, those units are 500 plus for a replacement. And, you know... It's an old 24-year-old fridge, so at that point, I'd rather just buy a new one um, and uh, start fresh, but but we'll see here. So I'll do a little bit of research and see what I can find, and uh, we'll go ahead and do a separate video on what I've chosen to do as far as a replacement and the installation and, and setup of uh, the new one. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.